Hi guys, this is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. Welcome back to this year channel. I am excited you can join me today. I am ready for work and I want to do my wallet cash stuffing because I will not be able to come back. Today, I have a busy day. I'm going back to work after being out for two days because my daughter was sick. Uh, so it is Wednesday, March six and it is 7 45 and i need to leave here by 8 30. so it gives me some time to film uh, not a lot because again i have to leave to work and so i had to prepare as you can see like there are new binders over there so i did that this morning i also edited a haul and something else what did i do oh my god i had something there um um, oh, yeah, I added all the links for the haul. That takes a long time, guys. And that took like at least 35 minutes of my time. But that's okay because I want to make sure each shop got a shout out, including this one right here. So by the time you're watching this, I have already posted the haul. It is scheduled to go uh, up at 8 in the morning, so in 15 minutes. And let me go ahead and do the cash stuffing here. It is a beautiful uh, wallet by ts budgets and i absolutely love it all my cards are fitting here properly as well as some additional slots in there i'm having issues with how those labels look because i had to put white out and then a label on top of it but it'll have to work for now i don't think it looks that bad on camera although in person mm, i don't know about that sorry for the lighting we're gonna get going I have to like get started with this cash stuffing and I already set up the money there, but we are going to count it because I want to make sure that I know how much money it's going in here now. I've switched categories, as you know, so this is a little different than the usual stuffing. So let's go ahead and count this out just so that I have this on record as well. Okay, we have 410 right there, but I needed $80 and I only had $100 out of the gas category. This is not for my husband's paycheck. Everything else is. This one's actually for my paycheck and I included it in here to stuff gasoline. And I owe $20 to that envelope. So technically then we are doing $390 in here. Let me see if that's correct over here. 300 um let's take away the 20 minus 20 and then i left a hundred dollars hmm it seems like i have too much right here um hmm we're going oh of course because i didn't clear my husband's paycheck see i'm getting confused erase that from memory let's get started all right so what happens is i did not include gasoline here so that was throwing me off in my planning for the week so those are all my categories the cash breakdown that i want and this is what i take to the bank and tell them that this is what i need that's what came out of my husband's paycheck but an additional 180 from my paycheck is being allotted here. That's why. So from now on, I think I just need to add it here as well. That way I don't get confused. All right, we're going to keep moving. Mm, let's go ahead and take out these envelopes. Okay, so in no particular order here... Um, I am going to start stuffing this. I have groceries first here and groceries only had $5 this last week for water and we have $1 left. And so I'm going to just put it to the side right here and we are going to stuff $200. There we go. That is beautiful. All right. 
maybe I should have them like this. <laughs> then we are going to do eating out and eating out this week is getting $30. There we go. Then we have spending. We have 10, 20, 25, 30, $35 left. And we are going to add for spending. We are doing 50, but I want to say I didn't. Let me see how much I said I wanted. Yeah, I think I'm doing 30. It is 50 but I'm leaving $20 for my husband in the bank. That's what happened. All right, so this is new, guys. Bear with me. I'm sorry. I changed categories and numbers. We'll see how this will work. And we are short um, with our spending this week because my husband bought a stereo for his car. And so we're allotting for that. So he only gets $20 for spending this week. And then um, he's getting $100 for his stereo. So definitely um a change this week but that's okay that's what the money's for right for miscellaneous we have ten dollars in here and we are adding ten there we go for oh this is going back to the bank if these are fifty dollars i need to go back to the bank i'll leave it there that I will not touch and then gasoline we have some money left here 10 20 25 30 and I think I'm grabbing these two tens so that I can put back in the envelope that I borrowed from oh my gosh there is hair all over the place guys my hair is falling like crazy I don't know <laughs> all right those 20 are going back and then we just have ten dollars left from gas then and i'm putting this in here because i this is what we keep here ah. technically once i get change for here i could get the 20 right because that's usually where it needs to come from so maybe i should just leave this here i'm confusing myself don't worry about it God, sorry guys and tell me why i have $40 additional here. Did I forget something? You know what I did, guys? Oh, eating out, spending, miscellaneous. I allotted this for fun money because I was so used to it, but I don't have a fun category here anymore. That is so cool. <laughs> it's like extra money, but not really. It's, it's crazy, right? I mean, I really want to add it to spending right now, but I'm the whole reason why I have fewer categories in my wallet is because I tend to spend more the more I have. So it, although this is kind of difficult for me, I'm just literally going to go ahead and put this to the side. We're not going to use it for my cash stuffing now. I'm like, why do I have extra? Yeah, because I don't have, yeah, definitely don't have a fun category here anymore. Ah, but definitely I will add it to the fan category and my family binder. It's new and it's over here. New and improved online. It's not that one. We'll talk about it when it's time for that. All right, let's put these back. And I think I want to have spending, eating out, and groceries first. And then these three can be in the back pockets or slots. So let's put this in here. I will put spending right in the front and these in the back right here. And then in this spot back here, bank all the way in the back with miscellaneous. And then I'll have gas in the front, just like that. Look how perfectly they fit those envelopes are from romina rosa and i will start linking her down below i ordered new ones with these categories i was not my no spend blah 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 let's go look at that no spend done with the wallet 
I found these stickers from Sweet Tea Plans. Um, I use them for my budget planners. I don't use these specific uh, stickers anymore. I do um, sticker in my planners, but I'm not using these currently. So I decided to leave them here. This is from Tanya's Budget and Chaotic Life. I should have zero spend on Etsy and eating out. This is eating out only if it's out of budget. Like it's only planned, budgeted, eating out. If it goes away from that, then it will be considered a spend day. So I started really good. Yes, awesome. Yes, awesome. Then I decided to go on the computer and say, hey, this beautiful wallet is going to deserve new envelopes. So I did go to Romina Rosa because I did not like how the whiteout looked. And unfortunately for my budget, I I just don't like the aesthetics of that. I don't know if you can tell. the I whited it out so that you can see it better. And then I labeled it. But there's something about the envelopes not looking cohesive here. And I just, I have a problem with that. And I wanted them to look like that, not like that. Anyway, the only reason I decided to order them is because Romina turned 28 years old this year. I haven't seen her videos in a while. And she had a 28% off. Back in the day when I was doing budgeting with stickers as well, I ordered from her shop. And she never had sales, ever, ever, ever. She has a website. And so when I saw that, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to order them. They were like... I'm not going to lie. They were probably like $18. And for Romina's Rosa shop, that is pretty cheap. So anyway, so I ordered them. I'm like, I'm going to be okay. I spent. I'm going to market. But then I'm not even going to try and explain myself. My daughter was really sick these two days. I was at home. I was on my phone. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Plenty of spending right there. I did spend it with cash. Um, and one of them was with Klarna. So no interest. But I do need to pay it up. Yeah, weekly with my spending money. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So that is that. And then, um, so I only technically have two. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. I'm not going to do anything here just yet. But I want to scratch these two off. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Oh my goodness. Editing Maria just saw that i totally scratched off wednesday and thursday of this week instead of friday and saturday the first and the second does that mean i don't get to spend <gasps> that is so sad oh that's my gosh. a seven and a four that will be eleven dollars do we have eleven dollars here in our leftover money we sure do so we're going to go ahead and put eleven dollars into no spend Here's my little binder where I'm putting this in. Now we have a total of 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I was going to separate it from last month, but I'm just going to leave it in here. And who knows, maybe I'll pay my Klarna. Um, that doesn't sound like it's something I should do, but you know what? I owe it. I need to pay it, right? And it needs to come out of somewhere. And so for now, we're just going to leave it there. All right. So I did that. Last week, we started Shake the Money. Let's bring that out. That's to pay off debt. Putting this book away and bringing in that debt challenge. So I need to remove this for now. And bring this one in. I'm going to move the wallet. It's a little crowded in here. I feel like I need to breathe. Oops. Sorry, guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and go to March. And I said I wanted to add $12. Let's see if we have that. Can we do um let's let's roll the dice technically this is you're supposed to roll the dice for this i was not going to do it because i just wanted to choose but since we have some money here 
let's roll the dice and see if we can add more. You're supposed to, you don't have to, roll two, and then whatever the amount you get, then that's what you stuff. So let's see. We have five. Do we have five right there? We do have five. That's 17. And five again. That's five. That's 22. Okay. Let's roll one. I'm risking it. I might not include this one. Let's see. Oh my God. 22. 23, 24, 25. Perfect. Okay, that works. So let's go ahead and grab, first of all, <clears throat> we did a five. We roll five. Then we roll five again. Do we have another five? We do have another five. And then we did three. I said three right here. Perfect. That means that we have 12. 15, 20, 25 going into debt. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. And then we still have some money here. There we go. Staying over there. Let's bring this back. I'm just going to join it together with the last one we had from Janelle's freebie challenge and Tanya's budget and chaotic live cards. This time I'm not joining any other challenge except for this one. And this one's by Kimberly. Yeah, all things Kimberly. And let's add this in. You guys i don't know what i'm what am i doing oh my god okay let's count this off we have oh my goodness we have 20 40 60 80 90 110 105 going into debt and i will deposit this money to the bank to pay off the credit card before the 24th of the month which is right before they charge the interest um that way this money will be nice and um secure in there and it will be the smart thing to do because of interest all right we are done using this let me color in what we fulfilled i don't know where this marker came from it was open though Anyway, I think it was my daughter. She was using my markers. Um, let's do... Um, what do I want to do? Let's do gold. I'm obsessed with the metallic markers. All right. That looks really good. I'm excited. Okay, cool. Now let's go into our taco binder and we only do these three things with leftover money. Last time I felt like they weren't getting any love at all. So I decided to, where's my taco binder? Hold on. Right here. Last time I felt like they weren't getting much love. So I decided to put in some money from my um, paycheck. I think it was March. What's in my March paycheck? I'm not sure. But we have money this time. We have 10 15 20 25 35 40 dollars not bad let's see what destiny has for us i might need to pull some change we will see what happens let's scratch out for my birthday and that is awesome it's five dollars so no problem there So now for my birthday, we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46 dollars. Wow. Wait a minute. Where did I take this out from? Ay, ay, ay. I took it out of my husband. I'm sorry. Taking back my five. Sorry, babes. This five is not yours. 
I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. Maybe because I'm trying to feel like I'm rushing. I have like literally like 10 to 15 minutes. All right. We have, oh, ooh, look at this. I have 50, 60, 65, and now $70. I $70 going into my birthday. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay, now going into my husband's birthday taco part and let's scratch this one off it is two dollars we do not have two dollars let's go into family binder no let's do this one hold on All right, ready to go. I'm going to add two dollars in here, and we are now at. I'm scared to do any up here because he has had low numbers, and both of our challenges are the same amount. So, I mean, in terms of like the scratch offs, so eventually he will catch up with me, but I'm I have a feeling all the high numbers are up here. So, let's see 20, 30, 40. 40, 41, 42, 43. Oh, not way off. Okay, 43 for my husband. Let's go into Camila. And she gets $2 as well. For a total of 20, 30, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45 dollars. Going into Sophia, my youngest. Stop it. Go brush your hair, baby. Oh my gosh, I haven't brushed your hair. Go brush it, please. I thought I was all nice and ready and my daughter's hair is not ready. I didn't do it today because she's like, I just don't want you to touch my hair today. And I totally agree because, you know, it's one of those days for both of us. Do we want to go back to school? No. Do I feel a lot better once I'm in my regular routine? Definitely. I love being there once I'm there. It's just getting out of the house. That's a problem. All right. Scratching off. All right, I am back. One, two, and three. I had to grab more change. I had a feeling that was going to happen, but I was crossing my fingers that it wouldn't so I could go faster. Let's see. One, two, three. And the dummy, I had $2 in here. I should have I checked first, and then I could have just grabbed the five. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, going into Sophia, $3. Moving on to my parents. Let's scratch off. 
All right, let's do this one. Do I have 20? Oh, 10, 15, 20. Oh my goodness. I was a little scared there for a sec. Okay, so for my parents, we have 50, 70, mm, stuck, 90, 110, 415, 120, 125. That's awesome. And for my grandkids, let's scratch off this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's do this one. Did I say eight? So I owe you of two. Or was it seven? Oh my gosh. Let's see. I had to put ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So I have an IOU of two. Not a big deal. We have a total of 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78 dollars. So with that IOU, 78, 79, 80 dollars in here. That is awesome. Yay. Okay. I bought this from Timu for two dollars. And it came. I I thought there would be more paper clips, but that's okay. And we are going to clip this here. So that it kind of stands out and I don't lose track of it. And I can start with this next time, I guess. Okay, that looks good. Taco is looking chunky again, and that is how we want it, right? All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Hopefully, yes, it's a 30-minute video. Let's go. That is exciting. All right, guys, I am grateful and thankful for you. Please let me know that you like this video by, well, of course, putting a like on the video, but also dropping your favorite emoji down below. That will absolutely make my day and my family's as well as you are supporting our budget journey. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Take care. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.